Hi everyone. Welcome back to Rachel's Lovely Stitches. This is Rachel. For today's crochet tutorial, I will be showing you how to make the crisscross dishcloth. For this, you will need a number four worsted weight yarn, preferably cotton. I'm going to be using two different colors. The color ways will be Ecru or Ecru. Peaches and Cream brand and Peaches and Cream in the collar Sea Breeze. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now let's get into the tutorial. We will start with the ecru collar. For row one, we will chain 31. We will now place one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. This is the first chain, this is the second chain. We will then place one single crochet in each stitch across until we reach the end of the round. I will meet you back at the end of this round. We have now reached the end of round one. What I will do with the last stitch, I will start like I would any single crochet. I will pull through, but instead of pulling through the final loop, I will now join my second collar. To begin round two, we will chain two. This is our first double crochet. You will skip that first stitch, work a double crochet in the second stitch, and returning back to that first skip stitch, working behind the stitch, you will begin your double crochet by yarning over, insert your hook through the stitch, pull through the stitch, Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And again, we will skip that first stitch, make a double crochet in that second stitch, just a plain old normal double crochet, and then returning back to the skip stitch going around the back behind the stitch we will work a double crochet insert into the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops there's your second crisscross stitch there's your first double crochet the chain counts as the double crochet your first crisscross stitch right there and your second crisscross stitch one more time we will skip this stitch skip the next stitch and working in the stitch after that we will work a double crochet and then working behind your stitches we will return to the skipped stitch and work a double crochet we 
we will repeat this crisscross stitch across until we get to the end of this round. We should have one double crochet, the chain, followed by 14 crisscross stitches. These two stitches here, these two make one crisscross stitch. One crisscross stitch, one crisscross stitch, one, two, three stitches. You'll have 14 when you get to the end of the round. We'll have one stitch remaining, and we'll meet you back at the end with the one stitch remaining. And that last stitch, we'll place a double crochet. And what I do, I start by making the double crochet, that when I get to the last two loops, I will switch to my second, or my first color. So I'll go back to the cream color. I just feel like that gives it a cleaner look. I will chain one. Now for round three, we will just place one single crochet in each stitch. For this round, the chain does not count as a stitch. But be sure when you get to the end, that you place a single crochet in that second chain stitch of the beginning chain. So single crochet in every stitch across. You should have a total of 30 single crochets. And I will meet you back at the end of round three. I am now at the last stitch of round three. For the last stitch, make sure you insert your hook in that last, make sure you don't miss that last stitch. It can be easily missed because it's not actually a double crochet. It's just a chain stitch that counts as double crochet. So make sure you don't forget to put that single crochet in there. I will change back to the sea breeze. To begin round four, we will chain two. That counts as your first double crochet. Turn your work, and we will be repeating round two again. So to do this, we will start our first crisscross stitch. Skip the first stitch. Work a double crochet in the second stitch, working behind the stitches, going behind, make another double crochet in that first skipped stitch. And again, skip the first stitch, working in that second stitch, we'll work a double crochet. To finish the crisscross stitch, we'll return to the skip stitch, going around the back behind your stitches, we'll work a double crochet. Now one more time, to do a crisscross stitch, skip that first stitch, work in the next stitch, double crochet, and going behind your work, make a double crochet in that skipped stitch. And there's your crisscross stitch. We have your first double crochet, which is the chain. And we have one, two, three crisscross stitches so far. You will continue making crisscross stitches until you get to the end of this round. You will have 
14 crisscross stitches at the end of this round. I will meet you at the last stitch. We are now to the last stitch. In that stitch, we will work a double crochet. So for round four, we should have two double crochets and 14 crisscross stitches. And remember that first chain two counts as double, double crochet. So double crochet, double crochet, and 14 crisscross stitches. Now as before, at the end of the previous rounds, instead of completing the stitch, I will be changing it back to my previous collar to begin the next row. To begin round five, we'll chain one. Your chain does not count as a stitch in this row. For round five, we will be repeating round three. We will be Placing one single crochet and each stitch across, we will have 30 single crochets in this round. I will meet you at the end of this round. We are now at the end of round five. Remember, when ending this round, be sure to work your last single crochet in that second chain of your beginning chain two stitch of the previous round. Repeat rows four and five five more times. I will meet you back here on round 16. We are now on round 16. To begin, we will chain one and turn. We will single crochet in each stitch across, across. We will single crochet in each stitch across until we reach the end of this round. We should have a total of 30 single crochets when we get to the end. For the first side of the border around, we will chain one, we will place one single crochet in each single crochet, and two single crochets in each double crochet and in each chain two. One single crochet in each single crochet, and two single crochet in each chain two in each double crochet. When we reach the end of this side, you will have 24 single crochets. For the second side of the border round, we will place one single crochet in each single crochet across. You will have a total of 30 single crochets at the end of this round. For the third side, we will work it like we did the first side. We will place one single crochet in each single crochet and two single crochets in each double crochet and in each chain two. You will have a total of 24 single crochets at the end of this side. For the fourth and final side, we will place one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 30 single crochets. At 
at the end of this round, you will join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. We'll then finish off your yarn. And weave in all of your ends. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos. I upload a new tutorial every Friday.